Hello everyone, welcome to virtual training. In this video, I will explain about content library in vCenter server. First, we will see theory part, then we will see practical demo session. So, where you will find out the content library in vCenter server? So, let me show you. So, you need to click on menu and then here you will find out the content library. So, click on this and then you will see the content library view ok so first we will see about theory part and then we will see practical demo session so i have prepared point wise point about content library so the content library in vmware vcenter server is a centralized repository where we can store virtual machine template v app template ovf ISO image and other files. Other files means like text file or PowerShell script. Okay. It has capability of sharing the stored file across the multiple vCenter server in the same or different location. Types of content library. So, there is two types of content library. First, local content library. A local content library used to store and manage content residing in a single vCenter server. You can also enable publishing option so local content library will be available for remote vCenter server. If you are new on this channel, please do subscribe this channel and also like this video and you can share this video with your colleagues thank you so much and then second point is subscribed content library this is used for remote vcenter server so i will show you in practical demo session how to subscribe the content library and then content library in important points so first point is centralized management a content library provides a central location for storing and managing template, OVF, ISO image and other files. As I explained earlier, other files means either it is PowerShell script or we can say text file. Okay. Now, publishing and subscribe. We can publish a content library in one vCenter server and subscribe to multiple vCenter server. This is useful for virtual environment to share the templates and other content across the vCenter server. Then versioning, we can version the content items making it easier to track, change and update. Now next point is syncing and updating. Content library can be set to automatically synchronize with the source library to remote vCenter server content library. It means it will sync and update from local vCenter server to remote vCenter server content library. Okay? This feature will ensure that all subscribed library have the latest content updates. And then permission. We can set permission to control who can access and modify the content in the library. Next point is template deployment. Virtual machine template store in the content library can be used to deploy new virtual machine. Okay. Then important notes content library introduced in vSphere 6.0. So, this is all about content library theoretical part. Now, we will see practical demo session on content library. So, I have explained theory part about content library in details. Now, we will see practical demo session on content library. First, I will create content library. Then, I will subscribe remote vCenter server. So, here you will see two options create and advance. So, first I will cover this option, then I will explain about advanced option. Okay. So, I am going to click on create, then I am going to name demo. Okay. And then I am going to click on next. Then here you will find out 
टू ऑप्शन इनेबल पब्लिशिंग एंड इनेबल ऑथेंटिकेशन अंडर लोकल कंटेंट लाइब्रेरी सो आई एम गोइंग टू इनेबल दिस ऑप्शन इनेबल पब्लिशिंग सो वट डज मीन इनेबल पब्लिशिंग सो वेन यू विल इनेबल दिस सो दिस वी सेंटर सर्वर विल अवेलेबल फॉर एक्सटर्नल वी सेंटर सर्वर इट मीन्स यू कैन यूज द लोकल वी सेंटर सर्वर यू आर एल टू सब्सक्राइब द रिमोट वी सेंटर सर्वर एंड देन सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज इनेबल ऑथेंटिकेशन सो वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ इनेबल ऑथेंटिकेशन यू कैन सेट द पासवर्ड ओके एट द टाइम ऑफ सब्सक्राइब फॉर रिमोट वी सेंटर सर्वर इट विल आस्क फॉर क्रेडेंशियल ओके आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू इनेबल दिस ऑथेंटिकेशन ऑप्शन ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट and then i'm going to select the storage and then i'm going to click on next and then i'm going to click on finish okay so once so you can see here the content library has been created and let me click on this okay now if i will click on summary then here you will find out the subscription url link okay now let me click on template so you can, uh, you can see there is no template uh, ova find ova template there is no template uploaded it okay so i'm going to upload temp uh, ova ovf template okay so i'm going to click on action and then here you will see import item i'm going to click on this and then either if you have uh, on uh, file share uh, then you can Uh, enter the url okay source file but uh, i'm going to select local file and then click on upload file then i'm going to select this one and then i'm going to click on open i'm going to rename this as a template template linux okay and then i'm going to click on import so you can see the uh, template has been uploaded in a storage okay so let me expand this so you can see here a stored locally it means this template has been stored in local v center server okay now next i'm going to subscribe the remote v center server okay then i'm going to click on summary and first i'm going to copy this url link then this time i will subscribe the remote v center server okay now again i'm going to click on create and then i'm going to name demo 1 and here i will select this time remote v center server so this is the remote v center server so i'm going to select this one and then i'm going to click on next and then this time we will not select any option here we will not touch local content library we will click on we will check mark subscribed content library okay now we will paste here the url link okay so url link has been pasted here so here you can see enable authentication okay i'm not going to enable this so i'm going to click on next then select the storage and then next okay and then finish so you can see the demo one content library it is showing uh, subscribed and it has synced properly you can see the it is showing template one and the storage you can see 35.01 mb okay so this is our Uh, this so this is our local v center server okay or we can say this is publisher and this is subscriber okay 
now let me click on demo 1 so this is remote vcenter server okay and then click on ova and ovf template so you can see it is showing yes in case content library not synced then you can go to action and then here you can click on synchronize okay so it will sync properly with remote vcenter server now let me check summary of this demo one content library so i'm going to click on summary and then here you can see type subscribed okay and then size 35.01 mb items one okay and created date last modified and last sync okay and then if you will see here subscription option then you can see automatic synchronization on and this is subscription url password protection no because i didn't set the password okay and content content download method all library content is download to a storage okay let me go down okay now we will see the advanced option so let me go back okay so here you can see the advanced option so i'm going to click on advanced then i'm going to select vcenter server so here you will see auto sync frequency library auto sync enable so if you will click on this so here you can see true and false okay so if you will select true the library will auto sync okay and if you will click here then subscribe library automatic synchronization enable a status okay if you will set true so the remote vcenter will uh, you know it will auto sync okay from local vcenter server to remote vcenter server library auto sync refresh interval this is in minute so by default it is 240 minute okay subscribe library automatic synchronization interval in minute so this is by default 240 minute library auto sync setting refresh interval second okay so let's see subscribe library automatic synchronization setting refresh interval in second and this is every 600 second okay and this is by default setting library auto sync start hour subscribe library automatic synchronization a start hour so it is it is by default 20 library auto sync a stop hour so by default it is 7 okay and then performance optimization library maximum library maximum concurrent sync item so by default it is allow 5 content library maximum number of concurrently synchronizing library item per subscribed library 5 by default okay now maximum concurrent nfc transfer per esxi host 8 maximum bandwidth consumption by default it set 0 okay and then maximum number of concurrent priority transfer 5 maximum number of concurrent transfer by default it is 20 okay so this is about advanced configuration okay now i'm going to click on cancel then let me show you one more things i don't want to miss that one okay so i'm going to click on demo so this is local vcenter server and if i'm going to click on summary okay here you can see so you can see the publication published externally it is yes so this content library published for external vcenter server as well okay now this is subscription url password protection no now i will explain how to enable authentication option for content library okay so you can see type this is local vcenter server okay so you need to click on action and then you can find out the edit setting okay so i'm going to click on this edit settings and then i'm going to enable user authentication for access to this content library 
okay now i'm going to set password and then i'm going to click on okay so i have enable authentication for local content library then we need to also modify settings for remote vcenter server okay so let me do that so i'm going to back and then i'm going to click on demo one so this is subscribed vcenter server okay now i'm going to click on action okay and then i'm going to click on synchronize so synchronization will failed because of been because see operation failed why because i have set password on local content library okay now what we need to do we need to also modify this option so click on edit setting and then authentication enable user authentication for access to this content library okay i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to enter password which i have set on local content library okay now i'm going to click on okay okay now we will again sync the content library so i'm going to click on synchronize so this time it didn't throw any error because we have modified the setting if you want to delete the content library first select the content library and then go to action and then click on delete okay so this is all about content library i hope you will like this demo session in the next video i will upload how to create virtual machine from content library so thank you so much have a nice day